What's going on, you guys? I'm as always Mr. Grand Four One Two with Dark Knight Nine Eight Seven, and welcome everybody to another edition of Back in Time. Now, this is we are on the shocking eighty-first episode of Back in Time, and um, we're going to talk about the uh, we're going to talk about the next movie for Tom Hanks month for Tom Hanks week, actually. Um, this is one of my favorite movies, and this is, uh, I think this, I, th I think, uh, Night Like This movie too. Um, we are going to talk about the 2000, uh, Bob Semeckis, uh, biggest masterpiece. The 2000, uh, from 2000, uh, this is Castaway. Now, this movie was directed by Robert Zemeckis. This film was uh, produced, co-produced by Tom Hanks and Bob Zemeckis. This movie stars uh, Tom Hanks, Helen Hunt, and Nick Cer uh, Cersei with the, uh, with the score uh, done by the legendary Alan Silvestri. And um, we're going to talk about... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go through the plot like we always do, um, and talk about this. So here we go. In 1995, Chuck Nolan, played by Tom Hanks, a time obsessed systems analyst, travels the world resolving productivity uh, problems at FedEx depots. He is in a long term relationship with Kelly Frears, played by Helen Hunt with whom he lives in Memphis, Tennessee. Chuck's busy schedule often interferes with their relationship. During the family Christmas dinner, Chuck is summoned to resolve a work problem in Malaysia. Flying through a violent storm, his FedEx cargo plane crashes into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, Chuck escapes with an inflatable life raft, though the raft's um, Emergency locator transmitter is ripped off. Oh, though, yeah, uh -huh. never mind, sorry. Uh, the next day, Chuck is in, in the, the damaged raft, washes up on an uncharted and uninhabited island. Several FedEx packages from the uh, crash plane also washed up on shore, as well as the corpse of a flight uh, crewman who Chuck buries. He tries signaling a passing ship and makes an unsuccessful attempt to launch the damaged life raft, but the incoming surf is too strong. Yeah, the wave was like really, really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. Tossing Chuck onto a coral reef and injuring his leg. His He is able to find sufficient food, water, and shelter. He opens the FedEx packages, finding a number of potentially uses useful items. He leaves one package in particular with a pair of wings painted on it unopened. And yeah, you'll find out why. <laughs> While attempting to build a fire, Chuck couches hand in anger. He throws several objects from the packages, including a Wilson Sporting Goods volleyball. Uh -oh. Leaving a bloody handprint, he then draws a face into the smeared blood and names the ball <laughs> Wilson. He regularly talks to Wilson. <laughs> Over four years, Chuck survives and has t uh, since taken shelter inside a cave. Wilson is his only companion. After a large section from a portable toilet enclosure washes up on the island, Chuck decides to build a raft, using a section of the plastic wall from the enclosure as a sail. He successfully launches the, shell, sh uh, set, uh, the raft that he is stocked with food, water, and the one open FedEx package. After some time on the ocean, a storm damages his raft. The following day, Wilson falls off the raft and is lost, devastating Chuck. Soon after, a passing cargo ship rescues the barely alive Chuck. 
Upon returning to civilization, Chuck learns that he has given up for dead. He was given up for dead, and his family and friends held a funeral. Kelly has since been married and has a child. Chuck and Kelly wow. reunite and profess their love for each other, but knowing Kelly cannot abandon her family, they part. Kelly gives Chuck the keys to the car they once shared. Chuck drives to Texas, welcome to Texas by the way, uh, to return the unopened FedEx package to the person who had sent it. Finding no one at home, he leaves the package at the door with a note saying that the package saved his life. He departs and stops at a remote crossroads. A young woman in a pickup truck stops and gives information about where each road leaves. As she drives away, Chuck notices the winged graphic painted on her truck. It's similar to the one on the parcel. He looks down each road, then at the one, then at the one woman took, and smiles. The sending castaway. Wow. wow. Okay, let's talk about that package. Right. Everybody since 2000 were pissed off. They were so pissed off that the ending oh. closed the way it did. Now, yeah. here's my theory. Here's my theory about the about the package that that had the wings on it. Um about what ended up happening afterwards uh after after what what happened with the uh when he left that package and he, when he saw the when he saw the logo uh painted on her truck uh, I think I I like to think that that Chuck went back he uh, he went back to go see that woman. Yeah. I like to think so, and he and I, uh, at least that's what my theory is. the The package, the pack, the package that everybody <laughs> everybody talks about that package with the wings on it, and but my thing is this. Chuck went through hell. Uh, Tom Hanks's character, as I said in the other review for Greyhound, Tom Hanks gets thrown into a situation that he could not understand. Tom Hanks yeah, gets really. thrown into another situation that he cannot help. That he cannot help at all. His 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 plane. Goes down in the Pacific Ocean. So, something, uh, something happens to the plane, and all hell breaks loose. And Chuck, for four years, is left on this island alone. He is left on this island alone. He has nobody to talk to except Wilson. Yeah. Um, now, we're going to talk about, uh, here we're going to get the part where it, it, it led to one of the most famous lines in cinema history. Well, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, too. Yeah. But the, the, this movie had me, this movie had me tearing up because I felt so bad for him when he lost Wilson. Um, oh, man. Oh, ah, that's my goal. It felt so bad. <laughs> I felt I I when he lost Wilson, I I just like uh, I just started crying like a little baby because like um. I know it was the ball that did he like first he talked to. Yeah. Like he was talking to Wilson. Yeah. Like, he was he he did he couldn't he couldn't um. He he didn't have a friend in the world. That the only people that he knew died on that plane. He buried one of them. Yes. Yeah, he buried one of them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, the, the crew, one of the crewmen. 
Andy Berry. Um, this movie just it, it it's 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 sad. It's so sad, man, because. There's one thing that when he talked about, um, when he was talking to his friend, there's a, there's a scene in this movie where he's just sitting there on a, he's just sitting there on the couch talking to, talking to his friend who, uh, thought he was dead. He said, he, he said, he said, I thought about it. I thought about killing myself. I thought about going up there and killing myself. That he he wanted to he wanted to kill himself that he couldn't stand it he couldn't stand the pain it uh, I'm sorry guys I'm yeah. sorry guys uh. God damn um yeah that he couldn't stand. He he's alone. He he has nobody in the world to talk to him except that ball. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, just maybe uh. It just maybe it, it just. Really, uh, really yeah, just maybe because I have anxiety and I have depression, and one of the things that I feel up, uh, I feel alone sometimes, and um, that's how I feel. I felt so bad for him, man. Um. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Um, my leg room collect himself. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get my, my take on it. You know, I, I thought this one was a good move, too. And you had to feel bad for it. I felt bad people with the time. And imagine, I mean, you're, okay, you're, you know, you were coming to go to Malaysia to tell it what problem, whatever that problem was. Only to find out along the way, a violent storm uh, messes up your plane. And although you think you're lucky started, you're, you're alive and you make it to an island, but again, you're by yourself. You have no one, there is no civilization, there is no nothing on that island but you and then nature, basically. And, and the animals, whatever is on that yeah. island, you never know. But, and then, at four years, that is a long time to be out there on that island, but four freaking long years. That's he, a long time. He's trying to make that contact with anybody that can talk to him. He's trying to make contact. Exactly. With with yeah. uh, he's he he's he's, he's writing SOS. I, I yeah, this movie this movie <laughs> this movie made me cry, man, and, and it does make me cry still because I feel that way sometimes, man. Like, well, like I kind of feel I feel I feel the loneliness and stuff like that. I feel I. Feel, this dude is doing everything that he can to survive, and really? what I think that package made I th that package that he had, that unopened package that he had, yeah. um, um, that package was like a, a, a it was like how could I put it? I'm not a Christian or anything like that, but I do believe in God. I do believe. There's heaven and stuff like that, but um, of course, I think that package meant a lot because what he yeah. because what he because when he wrote on the package when he wrote uh, this package saved my life he was on that island for four years for four years man nobody yeah. there. To talk to him, nobody to nobody to say anything to him. Uh, everyone, 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 and at everyone um, that he cared about, everyone that he cared about, 
is wondering where the hell is he? He's been gone for, for four years and he everybody's thinking that he's dead. Yeah. And the only thing that he the only thing that he was emotionally that he was emotionally attached to was a volleyball named Wilson. When he yeah. said when he screamed out when he screamed out that name, it broke me. It broke me a lot because it, he made he even though that that even though it was a volleyball, even though it was a volleyball, it was still a friend to him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Yeah. Um, it's like losing a friend. Like you lost a friend. It's the only one I've ever known on that island. Basically. Yeah, me and Knight know something about that. Me and him, me and him know something about that because a long while ago, a long while ago, me and him lost. Me and Knight lost a friend of ours. Um, yeah. To cystic fibrosis. Yeah. Um, we were we weren't put we weren't put on an island or anything like that, but it was just. Uh, oh, no, but can't relate to the friend the bond. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're not. It, it's that bond. It's that bond that can't be broken. It's that. It's that friendship that you have. Um, I don't know what the. I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word for it is. Um, he loved Wilson, and I, I would. If Wilson was a person, I think Wilson loved him back, and. Um, It was like, you know, they had their fights. That Some of the times they had their fights and stuff like that. And um, But, you know, it was like talking to a friend. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I just, whenever I watch this movie, I get choked up. And, um, and, uh, but, uh. You have to feel bad for the guy. Like yeah. I said, you you're going to somewhere where you have yourself an issue and that's going back out your plane and you're stepping around in four years. And the girl that's in a relationship with thinks you're dead she moved on. She married someone else and had a kid. Yeah. You know? But, and it's not that package. I mean, and that's not, like they said, you know, not that trying to be all talking about Jesus or anything, but that package obviously is something that, I don't know, something from, it's like something from God, really. I mean, I don't know what, what it was. He never opened it. He never opened it. He could have opened it if he wanted to. He could have what was in there, but he didn't. For some reason, he left that packet closed. And at the end, when that woman, you know, he said the woman comes to the road to take what they were, they need to blah, blah, blah. She leaves. She sees that same wing design on there, on the on her truck that matches the box. Goes, hmm. Yeah, I don't I care what, I don't care what anyone says. I don't care yeah. what the critics say about this damn movie. I don't give a two shits or a monkey ass about what the critics said. I give Castaway a 10 out of 10. This movie is a masterpiece. This movie is one of uh, Robert Zemeckis' uh, biggest masterpieces. And, you know, this movie, this movie has a lot of heart to it. Uh, you feel bad, you feel bad for Chuck uh, during this movie. Um, The ending may be bittersweet. The ending may be bittersweet, but it's still it, yeah, you. It it's uh, it leaves off with you thinking, what happened afterwards? What happened to this dude? Yeah, you, yeah, you want to know what happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? And and it it it, it the the whole crossroads thing was, I thought. I thought, you know, him trying to make a choice, um, I felt, him, him, him making, him making a choice, do I, do I go with this woman, or do I just, um, do I go with this, do I go with this woman, or do I just go another way, or go the other way? Right. Um... 
bad and, um, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, he's making a he's, so yeah. I thought the crossroads for thing made a lot of sense. Uh, but um, but what do you think, man? What do you th what did you think about Castle? Uh, I thought it was good, and I, and I agree with Grim on the rating. Ten out of ten is where it's at. I don't care what anybody says. Um, and if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. It is a movie, and of course, again, like you know how it it, it really tugs at the strings, and uh, you, you have to go back to the stuff. You have to go back and kind of scare stuff. And of course, like I said before, uh, this movie was the was 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 on the famous line Wilson when he yeah. called that Wilson after he lost him. This was the movie that launched that famous line in cinema history, Wilson. And if you watch uh, interview with Tom Hanks, uh, you know, I remember he said that that the Wilson thing was it was never translated to another. It had a movie in another language. They never translated it. Always came out as Wilson. So yeah. that was the line was most famous. That stuck with Tom Hanks. People knew who Tom Hanks was because that movie and because of that line, it stuck with him. So again, yes, ten out of ten. I give it. I give it ten out of ten as well. And you, I recommend it. We recommend it. Ten out of ten. Give it. Give it a shot. Watch it for yourself. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think? Have you seen it? Let us know what you thought of it. But if you haven't, please, at our recommendation, see for yourself what he goes through in casting. He said this movie is really, really good. Yeah. So coming up next, I'm, we're going to talk about another Tom Hanks movie. Um, and it's one of my favorites, and um, it's one of my other favorite movies of his, um, and stuff like that. So uh, that's gonna be it. And uh, and guys, I apologize, and I'm gonna be emotional and stuff like that. But it just the movie gets to me sometimes, <laughs> and um, and um, you know, some sometimes whenever I think about the movie, I I I choke up because. Um, because I know how it, that feels. I know how that feels to be, you know, just, you feel like you're stranded. You're, you feel like you're stranded. You feel like you have no, nowhere to go. Um, you, you, you feel like you have you, you feel like you don't have somebody to talk to and stuff like that. Um. And you know it's it's um it's a hard thing to go through, you know what I mean? Um, but um, but yeah, I, I you you feel uh you feel like you're abandoned. You feel like people abandon you. You feel like um. You feel like uh, just like crap and stuff like that, and yeah, that's how I just that's how I feel whenever I watch this movie. Like I I I um uh, I felt bad for Tom Hanks' character the whole movie because uh because if I because. He had to stay on that island for four years, and oh, yeah. you know that's that's tough. Your your mind starts to break. Your mind starts to your mind starts to wander. Your you you know, and it's just uh, it's hard thing. It's a hard thing. So yeah, um, definitely. But um. Yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10, so does Knight. Uh, but let us know in the comment section down below what you guys thought. And um, has there was there a scene in the movie that choked that choked you up? Um, let us know in the comment section what y'all guys think about Castaway and all that. Um, I'm Mr. Karen Fallen 2, and I'll see you all in the afterlife. Peace.